Hey guys, it's your favorite reliability and test guy here with another exciting video on some awesome content that I've added to my website. So go ahead and go to TomRush.com to check out the awesome templates and calculators that I've made available under the free downloads and resource link. I also offer many other services and training opportunities, including webinars, an online training course for the introduction to vibration and shock testing, and I also provide many different services, such as helping you find a test lab proven ground or test facility for your product, system, vehicle. I also write test plans for reliability, verification, and validation. I can also help you develop tests and also tell you what types of tests to run on your system. I can also help you with sample sizes for reliability and confidence. I can also help you design your test lab and select test equipment for your test lab and many other opportunities and services that I provide. So let's go ahead and go to the free downloads and resources. Under free downloads and resources, I have many different calculators and templates, and I am continuing to add more and more content to my website with free tools and templates for you to use for reliability test and validation. So today we're going to go ahead and we're going to check out the vibration test time compression calculator. So you just go in here after you've signed up for a free membership to the website. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in here. All right, so once you are logged in, registered and logged in, you just go to the vibration time compression calculator. So we're going to go ahead and download that. All right, so there's two tabs in this calculator. You have the actual calculator itself, and then you have the instructions. So there's a couple of things I want to point out in the instructions. M is set as a default to 7.54 as a default for this random vibration calculation. So M is the material slope for the stress versus cycles curve or SNN curve. The other thing to point out is that the exaggeration factor for the ratio between your accelerated vibration level versus the actual field collected vibration level should not exceed four. So keep that in mind, otherwise you might produce unrealistic failure modes and non-representative field damage. So let's go ahead and jump over to the calculator now. And let's look at the definitions. So T1 is the target test time. T2 is the original duration of the vibration exposure event, which can be data that you've collected from the field for your system. GRMS1 is the increased or accelerated GRMS level for the time compression. And GRMS2 is the field captured or uncompressed GRMS level. So that's the actual data that you collected from the field. And then M, as we just discussed with that 7.5 uh, default value, is the slope of the material derived from the SNN curve. So let's go ahead and actually do a calculation now. So as you can see, we have T2, which is the time duration of the actual field event. You have GRMS1, which is your accelerated test level. And then you have GRMS2, which is your actual field GRMS level. And then your M, which of course is the slope of your SNN curve. So let's go ahead and run an example here. All right, so we're gonna say that the original time or the time that during the exposure event was, let's just say 100 hours. And we're gonna say that the GRMS that was collected was 1.5 GRMS. And we're gonna go ahead and use an accelerated GRMS of three. So we're gonna increase the GRMS to three GRMS and we're gonna leave M as the default. So as you can see, by increasing the GRMS to three GRMS for the test, you have to run for 7.43 hours to simulate the 100 hours of exposure time at 1.5 GRMS that was found out in the field. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and find this tool useful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment below or reach out to me on my website. Thanks again for watching this video and have a great day.